Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers who are helping current sufferers of anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. Our videos are designed for those suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. However, anyone can benefit from them. Today, I want to discuss a technique gleaned from Dr. Claire Weeks, MD. We at PanicAttackRecovery.com like this strategy because it's simple yet quite effective. Dr. Weeks suggested that when someone experiences increased anxiety or a panic attack, they should simply stop doing whatever they're doing. For example, if you find that you are becoming entrenched in your own anxious thoughts and feel like you're on the verge of a panic attack, just stop whatever you're doing. Let's provide a real life example, which could actually save your life. If you've ever spent time in the outdoors, whether hiking, camping, or involved in another activity in the outdoors, you may have had the experience of losing your bearings. In other words, getting off course and feeling like you might not be able to find your way back. You know the feeling if you've ever experienced it. It can be pretty scary. Your heart starts racing, your mouth gets dry, it's hard to think straight, etc. The fight or flight response begins like the experience of a panic attack. Many experienced outdoor enthusiasts have suggested that while someone can lose their bearings in the woods, they should not panic. In fact, getting anxious can tend to make you simply go in circles and tire yourself out. This can further increase your anxiety. Instead of panicking, experienced persons know that they should remain calm. By remaining calm, they'll be in a better position to use their navigation skills and other reasoning strategies to find their way back and they could devise a plan and find their way out of the woods. For example, they might consult their compass. They could listen for the buzz of traffic from the nearest highway or try to locate the nearest stream or river so that they can follow it back to the nearest opening. And in the worst case scenario, experts say that if one finds themselves lost in the woods, one can spend the night in the woods safely by building a fire and temporary shelter. Then, the next day, once they're rested and daylight returns, they're in a much better position to navigate their way out. Imagine trying to accomplish these things when you're in a state of panic. In such a scenario, it is, in fact, the panic that can endanger people's lives. In other words, your own fear is the thing to most be concerned over when you're lost in the woods. This isn't the only case with the example provided. But in reality, fear is usually the biggest factor with anxiety and panic attacks. And that's why using Dr. Weeks' suggestion can be so effective for anxiety. You can stop doing whatever it is that you're doing, stop exacerbating the situation, and your sense of control returns because you are no longer feeding your anxiety and you begin to enable yourself to think more clearly. Then you'll be in a more rational state to respond to the challenge you are facing. Allow yourself to think about the worst case scenario when it comes to a panic attack. What would happen if you stopped doing whatever it is you're doing when you feel a panic attack coming on? Many people at first believe that they'll spiral out of control. However, this is not the case. Rather, by not feeding your anxiety, you will begin to feel better and regain the feeling of control that you never really did lose, but you felt like you were losing. Like anything, this technique requires practice. However, over time, you can demonstrate for yourself how effective this approach can be and realize that you don't have to get stuck in a pattern that makes your emotions worse. Best of all, while this suggestion can be very beneficial for anxiety and panic attack sufferers, it extends more broadly to other emotions that many people experience from time to time. 
Our videos are designed for those suffering from anxiety, panic attacks, and agoraphobia. However, anyone can benefit from them. To ensure you benefit from all the information that we share on a regular basis, you can visit our website and sign up for our free email newsletter. Please visit our website at panicattackrecovery.com.